Hello, hello. I am back to help you do this thing called life. So as you know, this week, um, we've been focusing on strength, trying to help you get the strength you need again. And um, even as, of course, I was praying for you, um, one of the things I heard, I started looking back at some of the scriptures that uh, I wrote down regarding strength early in the week, just not even realizing in the beginning how much more it was focused on identifying the drainers or letting you know that it's there. It really is there. All the strength you need for everything you've been assigned to, it's there. It's there. You just have to get rid of the stuff that's draining you. Um, and I know yesterday I talked about um, cutting people off cutting things off. And there may be some people that you need to completely cut out of your life. But then there may be some who are in your life for all of your life. And you just need to cut off their access to you in certain areas. Um, you may need to cut off how much of you they get or how often or how long. Pray about it and God will give you the wisdom to know what to do. But I think the first step is in identifying the problems. If you can identify the problem and you can put that thing before God, you can find yourself on the other side of it. Because I um, even talked about how there's a difference between a God thing and a good thing. Y'all, I did good things in the church. And you would, you would think, okay, everything that's in the church, that's a God thing. No, it ain't. No, it, ain't. it might be a God thing, but not to you. Not to you. Um, because he has certain things he wants you. Certain things he's assigned you to do. He wants you to do in an area. So even things that are God ain't God to you if that's not your assignment. So make sure that you differentiate between a good thing and a God thing. It's going to be vital. So our scripture for today is another one that we all know. I can do. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's Philippians 4.13. I love the amplified version. Um, my pastor said it the other week and I was like, whoo, it made sense because for a while, I ain't gonna lie, I had a, like, I could do all things through Christ and it sounds good and it feels good, but I'm like, how am I gonna do all things? It's just certain, I mean, you can't just do all things. Amplified version. Whoo, here we go. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Our focus is on that first part of the Amplified uh, version, the Amplified translation of Philippians 4.13. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. All right. So I hope that this has helped you a little bit. I really am praying that you're able to um, not only identify, but then act on um, what God is telling you. Like listen to the Holy Spirit, hear his wisdom and implement the changes in your life so that you can live the life God desires for you. This has been One Moment with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you gotta flutter before you can fly, but flying is in your future.